And then what are you going to do? Talk smack. There you go. Where are we? And who We're are right we? here. And who are you, well, Vinny? I am Vinny, and you are you, the Flash Somebody, and we are reallibertymedia.com. We're part of it. That's right, right here, live, talking to you. In a perfect world. That's On the 22nd of October, 2019. That's right. And I am 55 years plus one week. Whoa, very good. Anyway, yeah. say hey. Let, let's say thanks to Grib. I had a little shit on my computer meltdown just before we went to air, and we thought we, I wasn't going to be on time. So he tried to save me, but it was something I was already fixing. <laughs> anyway, and uh, want to say hi to the bots and bodies? I do. Then say something, <laughs> Mr. Uh, there we go. The very best of the bots of all is the barman, and he's at top. And we have one of our mods, the Beetle, in caps, and Grimner, the great. Not like Tony the Tiger with that gay scarf <laughs> on. <laughs> and the Mighty Moose Girl. That's fine. I'm Pi, Osmo, Chalcedonia, Natchalan. Graham Z, who is not at present at the moment, except for spirit in. With her name in the chat room. Oh no, yeah, she she, she was going to do the show with me tonight, and you if you were here. But uh, she got tied up and something that had to be done. And she bailed. I seen that. She said so this ah. morning. Oh, oh I. We didn't have Meister so. Brow, Woody. Hey, Woody. He says, "Would I? Would I?" He mm. called me a hairlet. <laughs> uh, there, the back end of me. a bad joke. <laughs> there's, there's. There's me, the constant me, the continuing mm. ponder gander. Gander gander. Right? Yeah. And below me, it's a poopster the in print. Because I stepped in it. Did you really? <laughs> yes. Hello, Oof. Kate. Wow. She's very nice. Oh, uh, Rob very works, my uh, now neighbor. That's right. Uh, fellow right. Arkansas. Your, oh. yep. I didn't say Arkansas, by God. Uh-oh. Come Here up we go. Texas. Trust no one, I say. Okay. Will you turn the letters? No. Vanna White will do it. There she is. And me. She's on top of me. Vinny. Of and course. And the weather door below in Phantom. Purvis. VC66. That's a famous person, in case you don't know. Oh. Uh, and you'll you'll find him probably at the bottom, almost at the bottom, as mm -hmm. the holiest Roger. Mm -hmm. That's right. One and the same person. Can so, Skora. Oh. He's tuned in now. Ah, I see. How interesting. Yes, we are live. Yeah, I'm a. I'm gonna do some cyberbullying on uh, just good. I think Love. Tonight. Oh, it is. Yes, it's wow. Rob Ward's birthday. Hey. No, 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 no. What's the date? Twenty second. Uh, no. I thought it was. Uh, no. Eight days. It's tomorrow. Uh, right. Uh, very good. It's tomorrow. It's yeah. Tomorrow's his birthday. Well, there isn't you go. Not? Tomorrow birthday guy. Uh. Yeah, isn't it? I think so. I don't know. Why don't you ask him? He might be in the R L M chat. Yeah, you yeah. type an R and an O and a B, and then you type the rest, and you probably get a response. It's amazing. It's like magic, only different. I thought it was tomorrow. I'm just going to type that. <laughs> oh, Vincent. Anyway, you got, you got sidetracked. Okay, I there. left off at Tuscura. Mm -hmm. uh, that. There is yeah. a circle. Yeah. One of my favorite ah, people in the whole oh, wide honey. world. Hello, Circle. She, she's not listening tonight. She's uh, well, doing other stuff. For me, then. No, she's not even here. She's outside with the dog. Oh, uh, well, when she comes back in, just give her a dirty look. Are you out of your fucking mind? No. Well, I ain't going to do that. Wouldn't you? <laughs> if you were out of your fucking mind, I still wouldn't do it. Unless, okay. If I wanted Cyber to. Cyber Noobles is here. Mm -hmm. and duh. Hello, duh. Come in, duh. And I don't know who e -Mad is, do you? Who? e man e -Mad. Oh, Energy Man. I have no idea. Uh, well, in should, should I know? Is there a yeah, reason? I guess we're supposed to end civilly or end civilization. Oh. Okay. What do you say? Because there you are, Flash somebody. Yeah. And we got uh, yeah. me echoing on your end for some reason. I you got speakers on or what do you got? No. I have nothing different than usual. Just the whatever the shitty equipment I'm using is doing is it's doing it <laughs> all over you. 
So if you're having a hard time, blame Vinny. It's my fault. That's Did I right. That already? I don't know. Uh, there, there's my favorite Canadian. I think uh, he's uh, I do sure. believe he's actually American and uh, probably gone in witness protection. Oh yeah, uh, there's always program. That. Yeah, yeah, and he's like going undercover as a Canadian, eh? Yeah, Canadian candle salesman. To yeah, the, from to the rich and famous. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And grommet. Grommet. A little. Okay. Yeah, it's a little rubber thing that goes in between uh, glad hands. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. Wow. You're really scraping here, aren't you? No, okay. that's what it does. Keep glad going. hands are the, are the hoses on the tractor trailer that connect to get together for the air brakes. Oh, yeah. They're I jump out my hands. tractor every freaking morning, you lunatic. Okay. okay. Well, JJ's nine is a Scotsman, mm. in case those who don't know. Hey. We ought to do radio with him sometime. He's got a join us. All the females all like the Scottish accent. Yeah, huh. And I can almost understand what a Scotsman's saying if he speaks slow enough. And you just gotta talk like Sean Connery of course. He's not. Oh, please. Okay. He's a, uh, he, he, I, he's, he's Scotsman. He he's told us not no damn Sean my, Connery, my the guy on the radio. Crazy. He says, uh, you know, oh, and he talks like Rocky. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he, picked, yeah, he picked up Sean Connery. There was a problem with him. <laughs> Okay. He's a cab driver. Okay. Yeah, there was a problem with the limo, so yeah. uh yeah, uh he picks him up and he says, uh I believe you are along the route my sonny. Yeah, mm. that means like taking the scenic route, right? Mm. Yeah, uh, I I thought you'd find an English gentleman like to get your vets down on uh, uh, the English stuff. He says, We're not fucking Englishmen with bloody spots. Oh. Wow. True story. I really don't oh, get all into all that racial shit in the first place, but you have fun with it. Oh, okay. It's all just crazy to me. Well, there's pawn sauce. Hey! Pawn sauce. And you can put that on that real Donnie Wu, but I'm not sure he's going to like it. You know what? I think I want to call our show tonight, Is It a Waste of Time? Question mark. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sock puppet. You know, I was I was kind of mean to sock puppet the other day. I seem to have been waking up here a couple of times in a row for uh, being in a bad mood. Get woke out of a beautiful dream. Wait a minute. How do wait a yeah. minute? How do you blame the internet for you waking up out of a beautiful dream? Oh, I did. I'm just responding to oh. being mean. Yeah, I think I I think I overreacted to sock puppet. He compared oh. me to Chascura or him to me as a peacock. And yeah, same whatever. thing. That's night and day. Yeah, they're two different birds, completely. Yeah, definitely, completely. I mean, even as hard-headed as you are, you do tend to, to give an idea some thought before you completely shit all over it and tell me it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. And we've been doing this a long time. We've had our share of disagreement, but you know, it's my my opinion of you at this point is you're willing to listen. And some people, not so much that I've noticed. I, I can't read that willingness on their end yet. Yeah. I see a lot of a lot of shit being thrown at the wall, but nothing, you know, <coughs> nothing to, to try to clean up the mess behind you. I I wonder if I'm not being a little mean to Tuscura lately. Maybe. And so, what if you are? What do you want? A, a you want a, a, like a medal, a statue, a park named yes. after you, Absolutely. a country. No. I think I actually wrote something like that down. I or used it. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In my last broadcast. What? Eat the babies. Oh, Eat here we babies. go. At the very shit. end of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. I've only seen a little bit of that on the internet webs on uh, mines. I don't really. Uh, I don't it's really follow the trendy kind of cool shit to do and say. It's a modest proposal. Hmm. Now, of course, everybody's probably thinking about the uh, AOC, Del Crazy Oak, exactly. controlling lady. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. No. Just, we must eat the babies. Okay, so what do you want to call this? What do you want to call this segment? We must eat the babies. Well, a modest proposal, okay. certainly. And we go along with your title. Put it on. <laughs> I have no proposal. concern about that. Eat the babies. I just it want comes, to have a good time and do some what, radio. What I actually did, I, I read yeah. from Jonathan, Dr. 
Jonathan mm. Swift. With having a doctor in front of your name, it gives you more credibility, of mm. course. To who? From, uh, wait, 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 wait. That depends on your audience, Sparky. Wow. I'm telling wow. you, pal, I, I'm not a fan of the medical in America anymore. Haven't well, been for I'm a few sure years. I'm not sure what kind of doctor he was. Did they have, like, mm. different types of doctors in 1729? Uh, it's hard to tell because, you know, I'd like to talk about that because people harp on the hardship of life in the old days when they were freely eating hemp with their meals. And, you know, these people were staying healthier than we are. They weren't using any pharmaceutical shit, no synthetics. Nobody was spraying aluminum on their fucking, uh, their house from the sky. Their crops weren't growing with pesticides and shit. So... I think that we've been kind of stroked along with how, you know, the difference between then and now. That we got it way worse than we're told because of all the toxins that they feed us. So I don't know why I went off away from you and went in that direction, Vinny, but that's where my mind is going tonight. Yeah, I triggered you with the word doctor. Oh, yeah, big time. So sorry uh, about that. Go uh, continue. Yeah, <laughs> not a problem. Well, back to what I was saying. I, I'm going to the end of this. And it was a book written by Dr. Jonathan uh, Swift, or a short story anyways. And it's really a poke and a fun and pun. You got a uh, link or something? We'll put put it in the, in the notes. Yeah, I'll post grab a, it and bring it over. A, yeah, I'll put it and, in the notes for you. All right. Yeah, I, I'll grab that. Um, but in the meantime, I, I, I digress and go back to the uh, ending paragraph that says, I profess in the sincerity of my heart that I have not the least personal interest in endeavoring to promote this necessary work, having no other motive than the public good of my country, by advancing our trade, providing for the infants, relieving the poor, and giving some pleasure to the rich. I have no children by which I can propose to get a single penny, the youngest being 26. My wife passed out being a... <laughs> Bearing oh. children with me, anyways. Okay, I I changed the last part of that. That's all right. It's four thirteen somewhere. I'm smoking. Hey, I was doing that, but I'm gonna prepare for actual four twenty. Here, I'll bring this over here to the uh, chat. Uh, this is from my uh, last broadcast, not my last one. Yes, my last one. And yeah, that's tonight we were gonna have Mary with us too, but uh, she got called away at the last minute and they had to cancel. It. But it would have been fun to have you both on here. Be yeah. like a dork table light. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm paying attention again, sir. Where are we going? Uh, right, take us I'm, down the road, Vince. I'm going. Well, I'm doing a copy and paste. Are you? I, I don't know. I'm going to no. I I've decided already. Quick copy and paste. I'm going to type it. So here it is. I'm going to type type the title. Wait a minute. I got a. It says Ponder Gander podcast blog. Oh, wait, that's not yeah. what you're trying to punch? No. Well, oh. yes, yes, that, that's the link, but I want to give you a modest proposal. Oh. And then okay. hashtag it like this right here. Well, here we go with all this hashtag shit. Nah, don't start well, telling don't me how to, to do the notes. You don't have to use a hashtag, but Good. that one right there, if yeah. you use that right there, yeah. it throws it in this, to this public pot. But I'm not open. Right? It's not it's opening. It's like a stoop. Okay. okay. What do you mean it's not open? Your link huh? is not open on RLM. I tried to open it. What, didn't open. What the hey, man? Let me try. That's it. what I'm trying to tell you. We're having technical difficulties. It opened. Oh, there it goes. Oh. I, I've been having it open. weird. Yeah, well, it should be open. I've been yeah. having weird shit going with my internet lately. Of course, being in Denmark, who knows? It's probably just the Russians. Because can oh, I? Uh, what? Can I can I interrupt and, and add something in here and do and pick on Chascuta right here? If you have to, I don't know what you mean. Planned parent, plan no pro Planned Parenthood is anti-abortion. Oh, you see how you can just like grab some words up here and change the whole meaning or something. Well, so you got to give me your an example well, of how you're. All right, all right I'm now give you I got your link. Planned, I'm putting it right. in the I'm pasting it into the notes. And what's it called? A modest proposal. Okay. Thank you. Eat the babies. You don't have to hashtag it if you don't want to. Oh, I, I I'd recommend. I got I'd it. recommend it because. I got like I said, you I, already quit. So yeah, but 
let me just describe it for those that don't know about Pass oh. Tech. Oh, okay. I don't because know about that. That's, that's why, and I got it from your wife to use R log, R L O G, instead of blog or vlog. Hmm. It's log, hmm. so you can't even say the word. You got to say radio hmm. log. Okay, no. That's one disadvantage. But the big advantage is we have captured oh. our very own corner. It is polluted a little bit with some crazy Chinese stuff or something. I don't know what it is. But. If you go to Twitter and type in the hashtag R-L-O-G, you'll find places like Al Anthony, or that's the person. The place is behind the woodshed. I'm really hearing me really loud echoing from your end. Is it coming through downstream to the listeners? I don't understand check, why. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hmm. No, I don't. No, I do. Now you do. No, I do. Now you don't. Now you do. Now you do. Uh-huh. Okay, so pro... Planned Parenthood, the organization, it's not about really Planned Parenthood, is it really? It's like, now look here, little missy, you done got yourself knocked up. You know what causes that? Yeah, it was a rhetorical question. Well, you didn't think I was going to answer you, did you? I'm glad you didn't, because then I would have been disappointed. Well. You 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 played it just right. Thank You've you. got me confused with somebody else. I'm sure. Well, oh, so that eat the I babies. Was all about wait a minute. Hey, hey, hey. That eat the huh. babies is. Wait, it's one word. Yeah. Okay, Cap- but with capitals. Word. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm learning your weird shit. Should I get out weird of this? I got like a. Minute. All right, no, 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 no. Don't put too much. Oh, that. Yeah, get, get it out. Yeah. You got two minutes. Got, you got four minutes. I got four minutes. Yeah. I'm I two minutes faster than you. I should type in my. Uh, yeah. yeah, I've got my own special commands now in place with the different bots. All three bots, and you'll see that in four minutes if you're live in chat. Minus aye, the aye, delay. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. So first, I'm going to type that and be ready to hit hmm. enter, and then I'm going to bust this up and put it in paper. That's special. Grimner's okay. posting links while we're doing the show. <laughs> and it's funny. <laughs> anyway. Never mind. Back to <laughs> Yeah. You it's saw that? Office. Yeah. yeah this, uh, Whoa, like what a that. weirdo. Let me see. Uh, it's, uh, you know, times have changed. All right. Well, you've got It your... would probably be in Greenland somewhere. I'm thinking it'll be 420 in Greenland. Right, but you got this eat the babies thing going on, and then you started back on smoking, so I'm confused. I have to be ready, man. Ready for what? What do you For the 420 report. Why do you have to be ready? Who cares? Because I can't say the Buzz Beaver anymore because it got censored. I oh. They took my face down and everything. Yeah. Yeah, remember I used to call this the Buzz Beaver report? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. A long time ago, though. We're, yeah. we're older wow. now. We're grown-ups now. My uh, my cousin had a page, absolutely no zero nudity, not even a nipple, and they took his page down. It was uh, wow. what was it? Something Vegas nudity, uh, lick, lick lick Las Vegas. Yeah, it was awesome. If you like beautiful girls, it was a great page. There was no obscenity or you know lewdness. Oh, it you know, was just you know, hot chicks dressed I, scantily. Right. What I found on the on mines the other day was a uh, old Richard Nixon. Uh, button to vote for Richard Nixon and then what it said was they can't lick our dick <laughs> because back in those days you know the straight regular normal people weren't thinking of they were because it was a lick was beat yeah <laughs> same thing in a, in a sense but yeah. it's been yeah. it's been improved <laughs> But I got yeah, but I got it on the on the mind, so I I think I copied it. I might post it in RLM if I did I'll show it to you. Sorry to interrupt with that, but no, no, it no, was no, that no, it's no, censorship. No. See, censorship is relative to what's common. It's coming. What's common? No, really bad. Yeah, yeah. Commenting, uh, coming, uh, all the other words that are weird. I don't know, man. We're it's a strange world. I want. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay on the ride for a little longer. Cirque, yeah, me too. Cirque has plans to keep me alive against my will. <laughs> She'll probably so. hook you up in the basement with tubes and stuff. 
Well, maybe that, or maybe like a, a coat rack at the door. And people yeah, could, you know, hang their cool. hang their coats put, off my vital organs as they come in the house. Put uh, that put, would be put cool. some gold, big old oversized galoshes on and fill it up with sand. Wow. You know, keep you from tipping over. This, there it is. This is it got, is now 420 somewhere, oh. and we have this announcement for your smoking perusal. 420 vine time. Fire in a hole, and Spartas says, fires up the bubbler and passes it around. And a white says, Oh, Yee and has a nice, pretty smiling face. And Barman passes out joint of Durban Poison Bud RLM. Oh, oh. I'm still cutting mine up. <laughs> I'm not. I was waiting for you to. I don't know. That Ooh, is the so. um, undeclared Bud Bus Beaver report, hmm. folks. Is it? Yeah. Well, okay, better that than nothing, I suppose. You tell me, Bob. I'm going to go tell them. Tell them what? I'm going to go tell this other folks. Who are you talking Ready to now? In another chat room. You can't know about it. Oh, know, that, you know, that, it. that mess. Yeah, Don't yeah. even think about it. Put it, I'm, put it I'm, out of your mind, sir. <laughs> it's not on my mind, you crazy fucker. I, I could care know. less. Wow. I remember me, I'm you the guy will forget the knowing of the okay. secret place that you No. I'm the guy that, that hey, listen. Hello. Circle is welcome. You're not <laughs> sure. it's, it's not because we don't like you. Like that, okay? yeah. yeah. I know I could never see her computer right next to me on the table. So well, there you go. Hide out. <laughs> Are you people crazy or is it just me? I don't know, but I'm going to, I'm going to do something like, uh, see, I've got this, uh, I've got, I've got to play it. It can't be, no way, no, I'm going to do it for a second. Here. I don't know what you're Not talking that about. One, well, you'll find out, sir. Oh. If you're a werewolf, like I suspect, this is going to be very yeah. bothersome. If I can oh, play. if I'm a werewolf, like oh, I suspect. I is it over here? Yeah. Maybe it's over here. Uh. Go back. No? One more? Oh, I'm not really this sure. Is this is it. You can't hear it, then you're not a werewolf. If your dog starts freaking out, <laughs> we'll know it works. Oh. Well, my dog is Where's upstairs. Hannah? She's not down here. I'm in call headphones. her downstairs. I've got call headphones. Her. Hey, call, call her and put it on speaker. Stop it. Wow, there we somebody go. Somebody listening have a dog. Maybe somebody listening wow. have a dog. Why do you Does want anybody to, hear it? Why do you want to torture a dog? Because the damn thing won't quit barking night and day, nonstop. I've never, ever heard a dog do this in my life. Nonstop. I thought, like, a yeah. month ago, I'm thinking, like, geez, it's been, what, two months now? Mm -hmm. I, I think it would, like, get a sore throat and quit, but no. <laughs> but... Back to why uh, now I want to be mean because I woke up in a bad mood. I was having a wonderful dream. Oh, that. And I yeah. think I was telling you about this off air, yeah. And the dog woke me up. It's like, will you never shut up barking? It's like, why are you barking? Then it goes into the chat where where I'm picking on Chaskura at. Mm. It's because I compared him to uh, to Hans Dredd, to you know Hansel, our very own Hansel. And why would, why would you do a thing like that, Vincent? Well, it's because why is this dog barking? It's yap, 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 yap. All right, why wait, wait. Just... You're comparing the dog. Wait, who are you comparing to what? I'm kind of confused. The dog, the, the barking dog. I'm yes. comparing to Hans. Oh. Hans he calls himself. Yeah, yes. yeah Hans. Uh -huh. The and, Strudel King, yeah. Yes, and, and Chascura. Ah, wait, both of them. Yeah, he fancies himself uh, godly. In a manner. He does? As all knowing, yes, sir. Wow, he sounds delusional. You think? Mm, that's what I'd think of somebody else. Eh, of course. That's what well, I think. so I wonder why mm -hmm. does the dog bark, right? Because See? He, my See? dog's barking. No, Look. sir, just let on it out. No. Cue. Right on cue. Sir, right just on let cue. the dog outside here, you bonehead. I got headphones on. Yes, why did the dog bark? Because she goes outside and barks at shit. She's a dog. She wants to be heard. Okay. Wow. Is that why she barks? I have Is that why she barks? 
When did I become the dog whisperer? Why? Okay, let me try a simpler question. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because uh, he didn't want somebody to throw him across the road. To get to the other side, regardless whether he wanted to said. or not to. Why did it? Yeah, yeah I'm going to I'm gonna concede that. I'm going to give you a, okay, sir, that's a good answer. Yeah. Otherwise, somebody would just pick him up and drop kick him across the road. That'd be kind of mean. We just feel more. Went to the uh, dry cleaner and, and he like had hand in all his stuff over here to get laundered. And so the guy knew who he was, the launderer guy, the guy that does the, the laundry or the dry cleaning. He just finally gets the last item from Regis Gilbert. You know, he did that uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire show. Oh. The one with Kathy Lee Gifford and then oh. the other Kelly Rippin. That guy, anyways, he gets a final item, his final garment, and he says, is that your final pants, sir? Me? <laughs> is that your final pants, sir? Pants. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, <laughs> it's part of this show. See, part of, I'm not part of the show. I'm just hanging around. Did you ever watch Jeopardy? Maybe you're oh, yeah. familiar yeah. with Alex Trebek. Oh yeah. If you don't know, yeah. he's a Canadian. Dude, yeah. You know, I was really, I was really mad when I found out he was yeah. Canadian. Yeah. Why? Because uh, he talked like an American. He was like, uh, yeah. 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 Act like he's an American and stuff. Living uh, down here in high Hollywood, yeah. the high life, all that sort of. Thing. Oh. But yeah. is he really that smart? I, you think he is? I don't He's know. Cancer, but no, to be oh, curious, there you I go. Said, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Sure, sure, uh, sure, I'm just, sure. Listen, I'm just making comparisons. Don't get mad. Make a You're real a comparison sometimes. Something that actually makes sense to me. I thought it would make sense to mm -hmm. the general public. Well, me and you ain't. Me no. You ain't but nobody. That's why. I'm not telling each other nothing. I mean. But that's why I was going off about. I was raised, they were they had such a hard life in the 1800s and all this, that, and the other thing. And what it I, is. what I, <clears throat> okay. In Extremely a, hard. Whoa, 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 it, In a sense. And in another so, sense. Wait a minute. Sense. I fucking bang. Okay, apparently, you're only, you, you can't possibly believe that everybody on the fucking planet was in dirt. It's, there were Not wealthy people the in the ways. 18 goddamn hundreds. And I'm telling you, these people didn't didn't die off at 30. They were living in the 60s, 70s, educators, religious nutters. And how were they doing it? Because they were eating better than we did. Yeah, and they had plenty of servants to do See, all the hard well, work. Well, you just told me in the breath before that how I was wrong. And I was trying to make a point about the quality of life is relative to how much funds you have, period. That's On the other hand, you goes. know, if you were able to make mm -hmm. a your substance, it's your daily uh, hmm. daily need, hmm. through daily duties, what it might be called by some. Hmm. And it, it, mostly it extracted more than people were generally able to maintain. They ran their, their engine, their machine, to the point of uh, a destructive uh, return, in a sense, understand. Hmm. All right. But if you were wealthy, then you didn't have to go out there and do all that hard labor without uh, all the good food oh, you thanks, have to dear. keep you alive. Because even just, you know, your daily bread was, but was an amazing Vinny, feat to Vinny, obtain in labor. Vinny, you're going way you the know? other way. We're, we're, the point I was trying to make had nothing to do with that. It was about the quality of what they fueled their self with was superior then to what we have now. And if you don't believe that, then I don't know where you've been for the last couple of years. Well, let's look at this gluten allergy, so-called. And would you say that's more allergy to what people have been eating for centuries, you know, uh, grains? Um, or would you say it's probably uh, possibly part of the production and um, the refinement, the, uh, um, what do you call that, processing? That's the key word, process, processed food. So what do they do in the processing? During the growing, they... Well, first of all, they've got it down to these uh, genetically modified crops, right? Ugh. That you can spray, you can grow them 
in a roundup. And that's uh, what I'm talking about. They, environment. they didn't have all this crap right, poison exactly. back then. They had good uh-huh. fucking vegetables that grew out of the ground. They fought the bugs to eat them. I mean, wow. And that's what I mean is today we got all this shit. And we're yeah. all addicted to different shit. Yeah. And the services are second rate. Mm-hmm. So compared to, I don't see the hardship that they went through. When we're being slowly poisoned through our whole life and held back mentally and, you know, fed a bunch of bullshit for the first 40, 50 years. So, hmm, I don't see the advantage. You got all this modern day shit that just works to confine the individual. And I don't think 150 years ago, the people had that kind of problem living in life. Well, there's exchanging problem for problem. And then in the supposed solution that's put upon us, see, it's not food now, it's feed. And (laughs) when you look at at like uh, the meat industries, you've got the the pig, the poultry, the beef, right? So how do you finish off cattle for uh, uh, consumption through the processing is they put them on a feedlot. They pump them full of all this genetically modified crops, this corns and grains soybean corn there's you know the wheat for the bread all this stuff is now round up ready the uh glyco uh glycophate yeah glyso when it glycophate yeah, the, yes the in the roundup that's yeah. the key ingredient yeah. right yeah it's poison pal yeah and the uh eu gave gave monsanto before they folded they gave them a 10 year extension on their previous license to sell that shit so it's a fucking scam, and the people that sell it know what it is. So, man, the jokes, if you're fucking insane enough to use it at this point in life, I guess, you know, you gotta, you got no heart, for one, because you're taking the rest of us that don't want to do that with you. And, you know. What like, about the poor, though, that have no choice, but they're able to. Hey, man, know, we, we are the poor that have no choice. What the fuck planet are you living on? You got some kind of special connection to Congress that I don't know about, Vince. Well, I, I, are you are I you married a to a closet millionaire that likes to live I, rough? I mean, what? I grew a little bit of my own stuff outside. That's <laughs> not what I was talking about. <laughs> well, come on. I mean, we're all we're poor. We're wealth is not what we're doing. I mean, come on. Well, I'm probably well below the poverty level. Ain't no probably way below the poverty Right. You know, so be, I'm a lot richer than most. But uh, it's just a matter of well, being a, a prissy you know what it ass. Well, to, it's, uh, to produce all your own groceries. Oh, sure. But we <laughs> see things were different back in the times that we're talking about. But we weren't here. We just got. I had this. We just I had this got, conversation last night with this okay. guy, Joe. He's was a, he there, too, uh, in the 1850s? No, but he oh, come okay. down from up Yankee country, and uh, his family's from around these parts way back when for a long time. Did he get so abducted come by back aliens? Home. No, he come back oh. home here with his wife and uh, children to uh, come back to the land and, and live life more simpler. And he's got family here. They've got access to all the things that it would normally take a fortune or a a lifetime of accumulation that's, you know, what's necessary to be able to produce this sort of lifestyle where they plant their own foods, then, you know, preserve it because you just can't just grow it and it'd be available six months later, right? It'd be uh, uh, processed, which again, uh, you know, you lose some nutrition when you can something, but hey, what are you going to do? You know, there's other methods too, freezing and uh, drying. Yeah. So, there's a lot of work to all that to get out of this poison feed system that we live in. But see, that's what I mean is it didn't start. I mean, it didn't start in 1800. Maybe the plans for it in the future did, but the actual yeah, right. getting their freaking mitts on our food supply that took a lot, a lot of work. Okay, and the courts in Monsanto did a number on a lot of farmers over the years. And the shit that I've read about what Monsanto did to farmers is. They screwed them. Oh, I mean, well, my people, what can I tell you? I can tell you what happens is what happens. See, they they make it with all these means. They make the production require 
Well, first of all, for the price that they receive, which is manipulated through, uh, you know, government subsidies and all this stuff, you know, this big corporate uh, welfare system that exists. So therefore, the little farmer man, he can't compete with these big outfits that have, you know, and this is developed where uh, subsidies, commodity pricing and, and so forth, that the production, the cost of production has to be below where they can make profit for the selling price. Mm. And you need mass quantities. Well, the, the quantities available from the same acreage is much higher now through all these methods. And therefore, again, manipulating the price. To, mm -hmm. uh, and then you create the scarcity or uh, so forth. Uh, but the I, well, that's, quality that's, is, that's not a complete thought there. But yeah. the, the quality is lost in yeah. all this uh -huh. science bullshit. Exactly. There's nothing yeah. edible there. It's just a pile of shit. You might as yeah, well just put it in the toilet when you buy it and cut out the middleman and save your intestines. You, you know, know that's what, what, what I think. You can't, you can't, uh, these little farmers that, you know, the family farms have been drying up for a very long time. Right, 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 right. And yeah. can't, can't compete. I understand up, the math uh, behind up, it. I mean, come on. Go up in Iowa up there where, you know, they, they uh, hogs in the, the grains that yeah. they grow and the rotation. Uh, between the corn and, and beans and so forth. Uh, uh, no, I've only I've only read up. about that kind of agriculture. I never took part in it. I'm only no. Mexican by blood. I never picked lettuce in my whole fucking life, my friend. Uh, the, I think the point where I was going was that in the end, you, you have what the system has created. And then if it gets over into the little farmer field, who he's trying to throw some honest old-fashioned wheat to provide for his neighbor this organic type of uh, uh, food instead right. of as a feed. Yep. And uh, this stuff gets contaminated by these uh, corporate crops. And uh, what happens? He gets sued. No, they don't make <laughs> his right. That's right. He has to like, I didn't steal your stuff, man. Well, prove it. It's growing on your land right there. It's all mixed in amongst your stuff there. Your inferior crop, looting the world's feed populated. Yeah, isn't that something how they pulled that off? Hmm. So, well, why I personally have so much faith in Mother's State because of all the letdowns over, you know, every day <laughs> or however long. <clears throat> you know, that's a perfect example of what I just did there, of what Chaskura comes in, where the government or these corporations, same thing, uh, are saying that. You're the one that stole these GMO crops from us because they're grown on your field. Now, Chuskura, that is the logic you come in here with. See, this guy's a smart feller, but I, I'm not keeping up with yeah. him. Type it in here in right. chat, but no. I see him rattling on. No, him. no, Some no. People I call it up. rattling. I gave up on him. I, yeah. They never always is. have an excuse, right? Well, no, No, Vince. no, 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 no. no. And it's apologetics. You're, he is doing nothing but apologetics for the oppressed system that's applied against us okay well and right. still that's your interpretation of what making he's writing. excuses for it and then acting like uh you're crazy for thinking that good honest food is going to be better any day than a government subsidized feed let so why let it consume you oh mm. it's not i yeah i ducked out of chat here for a little while i just left that shit going in there it's like I, I can't believe the idiocy of it. Well, no, it's I, I don't. It's not so much to me the idiocy. It's the strangling of not being able to respond. the the re, The reality of responding is you actually need somebody listening. Just responding to the wavelengths probably won't do you any good. Right. It helps okay. to have somebody that has open ears, and I don't see the guy has those. He's always yak 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 this. You need to do this, and you need to do that. That's not the road we're on here. Right. So if you want to chat with me, go ahead. I don't, well, ha I don't have anything to offer anybody other than an opinion about something I believe in. That's subject to change at any given fucking time. Did and I save it? I don't know. I what are you trying to say? Uh-oh. I, I spelled yeah, accumulation I, I wrong. It. Damn it. I saved you a link, just could have, uh -oh. and who happens to agree mm. with us on Monsanto. Uh, yeah, I got you a little something here. Mm. You know, I'm not saying you should listen to it. Wow. But, uh, I, I listen to it. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. What's uh, this Judge, about? Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd said to me this morning what I should be doing. Yeah. I I don't really, really respond to when somebody tells me I need to do something. Well, what do you need to do? Whatever I want to do. And right what is now, that? I'm fucking a doobie. Oh. Yeah, but you. <coughs> whoa. He is having a little excitement on the other side of the pond over there in Arkansas land. Anyway, uh, I don't know. We're all aggravating with somebody. See that? That's the, the trick to this whole fucking life, I think, is to get yourself where you just don't take it too damn serious. But everything around you kind of indicates that you're, I know, I'm stalling while you get your breath, that you uh, take things very serious. And if you don't take things serious, well, then people yell at you and tell you, hey, grow up and take things serious. And you know what? I got to say to that, <laughs> I ain't going to do it. You going to do it? And get Mikey to do it. Mikey hates everything. You all right now, Sport? Uh, that sounded like a very good smoke. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. It's muy yeah. delicioso. Yeah. I like it too much. Uh-oh. Too much? Yeah. Too much. So, hey, have you got any good input? <coughs> on, I've seen a link on Minds about Greta's opposition in Sweden. She you has know, <laughs> equal... Officially, what? I need to make this statement. Mm. The only thing I have ever watched of her... Mm was a portion of a YouTube video that Circle posted See? of her of over there, wherever she's from. Right, but it's and not... I don't a, know. I don't care. I don't... Well, well, all, I'm still going to tell the, you about it. I see the reaction. Okay. Yeah, you can, absolutely. Because yeah. that's what I judge is yeah. the reaction. Yeah. That's, how that's I what I'm trying to tell happened. you about, but there. you won't listen. I will You listen. took over and you started talking about Greta. I said, I, I yeah, found I her opposition in Sweden. And it's a Swedish girl. And she's speaking in English. For the Americans, because the other girl is, and her side is way different than uh, what the Greta girl is talking about. Really? Uh, well, well, that's what I was trying to finish, but you went off on a fucking Greta yeah, rampage I, and shut me right off. I've got to interrupt them. Stuff. I still have yet to see I, her. I, I've seen pictures. I had do not open Greta shit. It's not, I don't either. Fuck that. I don't. I but don't open Trump stuff either. I open opposition stuff so I can see what they're fighting, who they're fighting, why they're fighting. Yeah. And yeah, yeah there's a. If you're on, if you're on Minds, I found it all. So a little little girl with a nose ring too. She's a terrible nose ring thing, you know. But you know, if you're gonna listen to teenagers, that's and she is more or less not so much talking to me as she seems to be talking to the girl. It's like listening in on two girls talking. And hmm. the girl that you're listening to isn't the stupid one that out of the two. You know, the less intelligent one out of the two is not the one with the microphone at that time. And it's a little wordy, but it, she makes some good statements about uh, her home country from her perspective. Not some George Soros guy, I don't think, telling her what to say because everything she says is absolutely never going to make it to the news. The news would not allow people to talk that way on, on TV about what she's talking about. So, hmm. You know me. I, you know, I like the opposition to some. See, can, if I can say what I see in that, you've got what you call an opposition. <laughs> but what really? <laughs> see, a lot of people think that they can bring it all together and go right down the middle. Hmm. But you know what? Why is my thing making that noise? Hmm. Okay. I tickled the button. There. So, <laughs> what really people are missing is to look behind. Ah, that's what's driving it. Right? It's not that they're looking at the carrot and avoiding the stick sometimes, but really what's behind there is that wagon is pushing them horses down the road, and they're scared and running and dragging it. Well, what's really behind this climate change debate? Mm. Money, well, money, money, taxes. Because people are so gullible, they think that the, if, the, if the governments tax the corporations enough money, Money will cure it. <laughs> it's like, are you out of your fucking mind? I can go on my observations over uh, 
That's what I see. I don't know. What do you see there? Tell me, tell me. And then, then I can talk to people that are older than me that are approaching even to the century mark. Mm -hmm. and say, what, what, you know, what was the climate like? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't mm -hmm. hang meat like they used to in the old days. Talking about in the good old days when they're out there by the sweat of their brow, they like to, to dark or candy can't, as they called it, working to produce just the simplest things. You know, I've been reading this uh, history of where I'm here from. Uh, here, uh, Half Moon and the families around here. Uh, I'm in chapter three on it of the, uh, and Ozark Heritage, it's called. It's the David and Idy Barnett uh, family line here. Yeah. Pretty tough times. Pretty yeah. tough times. But, you know, is it the same? They used to hang in the early 1900s. They'd hang their meat, right? And, and slaughter in the fall. You know, there was a time for everything. And, uh, mm -hmm. there, there's a song that I've been sharing through my, by links on the, the broadcast I've been doing, that there is a time. And uh, Stephen Tolbert sings it, and his uh -huh. I think he does a better job than anybody. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, but there is a time, and, and the times, they are changing. Now, I'm making all these references to songs, but they, it's just, you know, an echo in a sense. But mm -hmm. it's different. You can't, it's not the same. So what happens? Something's changed. Climate has changed. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that. But is it cow farts are doing it? I don't think so. Um, there's a lot of things that could be considered. Maybe it was upper atmospheric nuclear testing. Maybe they poked some holes in the sky up there. With Maybe what? the sky is falling. And <laughs> falling. Jeez. Okay. What? So what do you do? Well, <laughs> mitigation, right? And when you do something, you got to make profit, make somebody else pay for it. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why they've got extra things making clouds coming out to tell in the planes up there near these days. You think they, so? Yeah. You don't think that the world's just totally freaking insane and that people believe everything that they read or hear and without pursuing any other possible answer. Whatever they hear, they go, okay, that's it. Like they don't have time to think about anything besides what time is it. Uh, it is uh, 12.47 p.m. Central Time. Uh, don't, don't, yeah. Well, don't. whatever. Okay. Don't, don't take it seriously. Don't. Hey, I'm doing a GMT thing. GMT. Everybody. Oh, General yes, Mountain is, time. No. <laughs> no. Silly boy. Uh, yeah, it's Greenwich Mean Time. Now, General Mountain time, because you're a mountain guy. Baby. Hi, Chloe. Here's <laughs> 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 the Vinny. Yeah, take it out of like me. Like I had anything to do with any of that shit. Crying out loud. Wait. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, it's a public service thing. Oh, I got a public service announcement for you. Do you want to um, just do the one, or do you want to do it too? I want to do whatever. Well, I'm... you do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do what? She's gonna do. I really didn't have anything. Go what I was going to do was open that link and go from there, but we went way beyond all that. Yeah. But I've been keeping notes through the show of what we have chitter-chattered about so far. To You're a smart point. man. You're we smart even, man. Yeah, we even have a link to put into the notes for our hardcore 20. You know, so that people have something entertaining to check into. Me and Vinny hey. arguing about who owns the color blue and a modest proposal at Eat the Babies. Eat the Babies. The dangos eat the babies. Wow. So this women empowering movement thing doesn't seem to really impress you, sir. Are you a no. bigot? A sexist? No. Mm -hmm. I'm a not. But I'm not a big one. I'm a little one. Are you a, a Nazi? Perhaps. No, mm -hmm. I do see. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, there's always a reason for hanging out. I'm a doocy. Yeah. Matter of fact, my, my, yes, Vincent Ray's even yeah. second it makes me a doocy. Well, I would say by <clears throat> my own perspective, I don't really give a shit. People are people until they get close enough to be in here in range, and then it changes. I'm going to spell it. Wait, yeah, you. Mm. I'm a little dude's coot. Whoa. I, 
Vinny Ducey. Wow, there you go. I have no idea what brought that up. And now, boys and girls, who will introduce it to you, a Vinny Ducey. Okay. With a little bit of number called the Tiny Bubble. You know, there there's a link of, what's his name? Bill Clinton apologizing to the American public for doing experiments on them without their consent or knowledge. And I'm looking at the main feed, right, of the RLM. Uh-huh. And I see a link. Why did we test nukes in space? There's no such thing as anything in space, you moron. Give me a break. There's nothing because it's a bunch of shit. How could it possibly be true? First off, it's all done in debt. So there's, nothing's accountable. Nah, it's just a way to continue this charade and keep us believing. Believing what we're taught to believe like the little sheep. When little yeah. Bo Peep comes a looking, is she looking for you or is she looking for me? I and I'm that. telling you, if she's looking for me, my wife might not like it. <laughs> you know little Bo Peep. Oh, I remember. I, <laughs> I was saving something for you and then I didn't because I remember. Oh, that's easy to find. But now uh, I forget the general's name again about oh. the, uh, uh, or maybe it would, no, it's for Chascura, but you had shared it before. I have? It was about, yeah, the planned wars in the Middle East. Mm. After 9-11, the general... He says, oh, oh, yeah, the, seven, the, seven, the list of seven countries they were going to invade. Yeah, Five? Yeah, 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 seven. They all had... They, they were the holdouts to the central bank. Right. Hmm. There you go. I, it, and yeah. I took one of your memes that you posted from, uh, from Mines. That's what they're for, Vinny. I don't care what and they're And then... Jeez, yeah, I, I took no. I did an adaptation of it. Mm. Okay, I guess. into the words oh. lessons from behind the woodshed. Oh, and watch here. I'm posting it right here now. Oh, I see where you're going. Roses are red, violets are blue. The government doesn't give a huge fuck for you. Nope, it sure don't. At USU, fuck. Yeah, well, whatever. I, you so crooked. I get very homesick when you talk like that, Vincent. Do you? Are you a flat earther or something? Not necessarily <laughs> a flat earth. How would I? Exp- I just don't agree that there's any what? proof of anything. Period. There's no proof of nothing. So I'm walking down the road. You guys can call it what you like. Look, if I you got think a it's block, man. if you think it's round, sure. Would be happy thinking it's round. All I'm asking for is proof that it's round. And I, too, I, well, I think I've proved it to myself that it's round. I've looked at all these uh, yeah. supposed intelligent uh, objections to yeah. it being round. Mm-hmm. You know, like, why don't they fly over the Pacific Ocean? It's shorter. <laughs> well, it's really not. It's, it's really not. Uh-huh. It's shorter to go up around Alaska. There's other reasons. But it, it, it's spinning while you're flying around it, right? But no, you're you see, you're not uh, uh-huh. outside the the effect of the spinning world to uh, have very much noticeable difference. Like if you used to shoot a bullet straight up there and it come back down because it's well, moving. wait, wait. Now you're comparing the planet Earth, the supposed planet, to a bullet. Is this what you're well, doing? Scientific things. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! Don't give me all that jibber jabber crap about scientists. Come on. What's that scientific? What the fuck do I know about I scientific? scientific? I'm a scientist. Okay, I yeah, screwed I it up. That, and I yeah. got laughed at. Yeah, yeah but I screwed it. it up saying it back at you. Then. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what do I know about scientific? Huh? 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 Well, here, see, just when you think Chester is getting smart, here ah, he is. Here we go. Chester. What now? Oh, boy. There it is. How I stupid are you? What? You've got. You believe in 9-11 conspiracies? What do you mean conspiracies? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just you mean saying like here's Silverstein, another example. Silverstein damn bought the fucking place for $15 million, insured it for double terror attacks, and got some. <laughs> Gee, in like six weeks from the time he took over the building. Coincidence, coincidence. And did you sir. know? I, 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 man I, I lived in Manhattan. That building was an asbestos trap. 
They yeah, were no. they were looking for ways to get rid of that building a long, long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. After they built it, they were yeah. thinking, how and are we going to get rid of this It was thing? Yeah. so expensive to do anything but leave it there that they couldn't. So they dreamed up this 9-11 jizmo. Well, they used that. For, hey, it's just like spraying chemtrails. Why not make a profit out of it? Well, you know, they say it's the Jews, but, you know, it was the Jews. It was the Jews. And the so, Jews. yeah, the Jews and some some help from the you know powers that be at the time. If, if you can't see that, then you can't see that. It's been call it a nut job case, whatever. But if that's if that's the government you want, you know, <clears throat> protecting your freaking rights and all that, you don't have any rights left to protect. So listen, hmm, I why? got an idea how we could really make some profit all this. We could go to Las Vegas and start a new company for the demolition and uh, demolishing the, uh, the high-rise hotels and casinos mm-hmm. when they want to build a new one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we wouldn't have to waste money setting, you know, explosive charges throughout to bring it to collapse down. All we got to do is go in there and light some office fire uh, furniture on fire and, and make it fall down. Yeah, that but, would be way cooler too. Well, all they do is they they've come clean about building seven since, but they you see it's so obscure now. 20 fucking years later, and I know, but give or take, whatever. And 20 years goes by, and you've got a whole new person that you've brought up with this bullshit story. Yeah. They don't know any how, different. How old, Josh Gorder, he was probably a little boy when that happened. <laughs> so he believes all this stuff. He's been condi- – he happens to fall into a disadvantage, uh, disadvantageous time mm. of being deeply instilled in the propaganda. Oh, yeah, sure. The masses. Sure, and the children. Sure. Now, yeah. I mean, they ain't, what, a year or two old, and they've already got them a device in their hand, playing mm. games. Yeah. Yep. Hey, that's life, man. I mean, I'm not bla- mad at him, you know. I can't fully blame him for what he does up in here. Well, you that's what's that's, been conditioned. Okay, that's why I brought that point up to you about how differently age groups will look at situations because their experience in life is different so they see like we were talking about oh people in the 1800s no you're you're imagining what people did in hard work blah 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 if you do hard work while you're doing it it's not hard work it's just work that has to be fucking done don't fool yourself there oh crying out loud way back in then and look, I've done hard work. Right? I mean, you so have I. Like enjoyable, yeah. This it's is a like state of yeah. fuck Make you. Make a lazy, yeah. You know, somebody just, that doesn't know how to work look uh, lazy. It's a state right? of and, mind, and Vincent. Idiot, foolish, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. But nonetheless, a hmm. hundred years ago, life hmm. was tough, Mister. You didn't have okay. a, a free ride or guarantee. Oh sure, that's where the, all the Vanderbilts and all these freaking wealthy millionaire people come from. What are you nuts? These royal families. All over the freaking world, Vincent. Who pondered me? Uh oh, you're not even paying attention. I am now, but I got distracted by the bell. Because you're you're in love with the sound of your own voice, you crazy. It's a bell. Uh, It's like a dog, man. I guess. Rough, 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 rough. I'll put a dog whistle on you, sir. (laughs) Who are you talking to? I don't care. Somebody. Anybody? Somebody listen to Vinny. He's going off like a fire hydrant. Yeah. I've, I relit the, I refired the ignitable material. I'm going to, I'm going to hold back. I think I ignited <coughs> enough material for this particular show. <laughs> I'm done igniting. I'm going to go on smoking and tea. What did I do with them? Oh, there they are. Lost my glasses. Uh-oh. You can't, can't do that. Anyway, so what, what's going on new in the world of Arkansas? Besides Mr. Rob, okay, Rob works finally got he got moved. He's getting more settled every day, you know, putting stuff together and bringing it together and adding. And you know what? We were ragging on him because he has a friend. Rob he has a works tomorrow. Yeah, but he has a friend. Go figure. Well, Boy, damn! I mean, but just a couple of weeks ago, he was all Mister Grouchy. And now he's really? got, yeah, now he's, eh. Arkansas Come on, Rob. Are, are good. You yeah. know, and it all yeah. depends on where you live. <laughs> even, even in the the oversized oh, yeah. towns that have creeped into cityhood, yeah. there's still enough of the good folks around that still participate in making the atmosphere, mm-hmm. the environment, or what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
uh, we got that here pretty much. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and it took five years, but there was finally some violence. And I still, nobody's brought it up to me or asked me or not. I haven't. And when I've been in town, I forget to ask about it. So Why am I beeping? Who knows? I, here we go with your beeping again. Maybe it's the aliens want to penetrate oh, your butt. No, I, I but they figure happened. they'll call you first instead of just raping you. They're going to make oh, an appointment I, on your cell phone. I've got to fix this. That wasn't a very good answer, was it? <laughs> Oh, Biddy's played that. with his phone live on me on in a oops. perfect world show tonight. I misspelled it. In a perfect Ponder world. Gander Randolph. Oh. He's Ponder Gandering in a perfect world. <laughs> so Pe- it's Vinny over there. Peacock I away. Vinny because I changed my, my nick over here. Peacock yeah. away, Peacock, sir. Wait a minute. What happened? What? I don't know. You're mumbling to yourself about reading shit now. Stop it. Bam. Come I back to the room, Vinny. Back. I fixed it. Earth to Vinny. I got it. Mm-hmm. There. I have no idea why you need to do this at this time, but you weirdo. Because Hannah. Hey, <sighs> I know I heard her. See? Yeah, She's on my yeah. side. Oh, uh, must be. Try to Crazy like damn dog. The dog, the dog don't last her. Yeah. So, tonight we talked about why did the chicken cross the road? Buck-up. The food industry. A lifetime of accumulation. Straightening out the RLM chat room is hard work. And whatever happened to 9 11? <laughs> duh. Look at duh. You know, and what cracks me up the freaking most about all this shit that's gone on since 9 11 is uh, there's people still thinking that there's a constitution and a bill of rights. And as soon as the ink was dry on that freaking. 12,000 page goddamn manuscript, uh, your rights were gone. My rights, whatever the fuck you guys, I, I never really give a fuck about any of that shit when I lived there. So, But to run around and, and type and talk and tell people how you've got these constitutional rights, you know, when you don't, it's insane. You know better than, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you know, my experience, what I see is, is People keep trying to use, to get in and think that they can take this system and turn it against the system. But you know what they've done? If you try that, you try to put a lien. This is the big thing now, I guess, from what they call sovereign citizens is uh, putting these various liens on public officials. And you know what? Then they end up in prison for a long time. Yeah. They didn't do any yeah. good except for they yeah. sacrificed themselves. themselves. Yeah. yeah. Because people remember you and others won't. Yeah, because there's so many of us that, you know, a couple of thousand people that get disappeared through the news can't keep up with everything going on all over the world 24 hours a day. That'd be insane. You're only capable of holding so much information at one time. You're not a computer. And just because you have a computer does not mean that the question you ask, you're going to get the answer that's truthful to the question. Just means you'll get an answer. There's lots to choose from these days. You know what I mean? Can I give you another example here? Of course. That's what you're here for. I was wanting to be mean, but I'm not really a really mean person. No, not really. No, you're just kind of stubborn and uh, you like to be right. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's my opinion. Don't take my opinion. Listen, let me tell it to you like this. (laughs) See? I I told you. You want to be right. I want to be right. I don't. I don't want to be right. No, I, no. You understand the difference? Yeah. 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 I hope it Correct. came out in it. Vince, in there. Yeah, hey. because you were using the same word. Both. Yeah. Works two ways. Mm-hmm. Well, I know I that. I want to be right. Well, sure. I don't want to be right. Uh, you know? Are you Maybe. sure? Maybe you no. got. Maybe you got like an orange wig and you know some diapers in the closet we don't know about. And you, you know you wake you wake up in the middle of the night and put your Trump wear hair on and you dance around in the yard and you wow. die. You don't know. Hey, really Ed Gein did someone. weird shit. Maybe. Hey, maybe oh, you're just like. I've never heard of any of this stuff. Tell me. Tell you could me be like Ed stuff. Ed they Gein like Trump people doing what? I I'm I'm just assuming. I don't want to know. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> Good I ask. I'm assuming about you. Because some part of me thinks that you're deep down inside you're a Republican. 
No matter how liberal you might appear to be, that you're just a hard nosed freaking. I got I got called a Democrat last night. <laughs> they called me a Democrat. <laughs> oh no, you don't lie enough to be a Democrat. They're the hardcore liars of the two sides. Um, I'm related well, to it will change. Oh, wow. Which is back and forth. Well, yeah, but see, they do things like blame gender and shit like that. Yeah, fuck you. It's nonsense. They'd always overlook the crime done and blame it on the person. You know, fuck what is you. It? Doesn't gender, matter. Is that, like, is that like a gin bender? What do you mean? Gender? Like going on a gin juice bender? <laughs> it's like the head of the A. A gin bender? What are you talking about, gin bender? Mm -hmm. What did I inspire here? I, I, gender. I don't know. You said gender. gender. Well, <clears throat> yeah, because you can you can always argue with the opposite sex about something, and the, and some people instead of addressing the problem, they address the gender. Oh, uh, see what women do when they build a bridge. Not you know. Uh, hey, the bridge collapsed. I remember this guy going on for days. Because the women that owned the company or something were women instead of men. So because the work, the craftsmanship was shoddy at the end result, that was the, the fault of the owner. And they just happened to be females. So, wow, let's bash the females. And I thought, wow, are you a moron or what? Some women like <sighs> better, uh, better bosses. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Well, I, that's beside the point. When something goes wrong, blaming the gender? Because who owned the company? I mean, wait a minute. Talk about stupid. That's that's just ignorant. That's just thieves getting caught. Men, women, thieves are thieves. One gender is not a better thief than the other. They're equal. <laughs> well, some I think they're in gender there come certain qualities that may excel the opposite. Do you have any idea what the estimates of the Queen of England's net worth is? Or how much property they claim she owns? A lot. She also has powers that people have forgotten about. Grimmer can remind you about her doing the ex nay on the Parliamente thing. That was the other yeah, thing she could there. do anything she wants. She could suspend Parliament. She's got all the power. She just doesn't use it very often. And or when she does, it's not accredited to her using it. They call it a vote. Uh, but the point so, still. Yeah, I okay. mean, hey, listen. If it's, a, if it's been voted on, even if it was one person, uh, okay. Well, I'm not talking about okay. voting. I was talking about the, the bitching people do about the other gender. When it's not about a gender, it's about greed and stealing and being a you know an inhuman human, whatever that is. Because how much nerve it must take to sit on a golden throne and know there's people out, you know, on the planet that don't eat <laughs> for periods of time that aren't good for them. But what do they care? And how many wars has England started in the last you know, since she's been in power? But, How many has they have they finished? Right, but see, we go back and forth over, always going back and forth over the, the person in, in, in the seat of, con, of control, but never the seat of control, because that shatters the reality of the status. Man, when they got to look at that, they can't handle that. You're responsible because you want it. That's what you want. You want what is happening, or you will resist what is happening. And some people resist in ways that other people can't see, but they're still resisting. <coughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Wow. I think. I was on a tirade about what I think about people thinking. What do you think? I think that's a good thinking. Duh, there are two genders. There's male and there's female. And Thanks anything somebody. besides that is a decision that somebody makes on their own outside of me okay i don't really believe there's anything more than what i see so but other people can believe whatever they want so if they believe it's a right to marry a chicken who the hell am i to stop them you know if they want to imagine that they're the opposite gender for some fucking magic reason i'm not going to stop it i would balk yeah. at the uh, suggestion that a man marry a chicken sir well, yeah but hey 
Dude, you never saw the, the Devil's Rejects. Yes, I have. Chickens are quite the thing in Alabama. <laughs> I'm, I'm gratefully disremembering that part of it. I oh, good. Okay. I like the part about, what's the matter, kid? Don't you like clowns? That's the same film, The Devil's Rejects. Yeah, that's the part I remember. Uh, Captain Spaulding died, too, a couple about a month ago or so. They, uh, really? Yeah, Grimner even sent me a link uh, of an old, obscure movie program he did. So, you know, I could enjoy the moment, I would assume. Because I'm a film, you know, film buff without knowing all the names and shit. I recognize faces, but names, eh, I don't know so much no more. Sometimes. There's eh. some names you'll, that you'll recognize. Everybody. Mm. Some names some people all know. Mm. What's the most famous name in the world, would you say? Muhammad. Hmm. I probably... That or you asked. I'm probably two yeah. billion Mohammed, so yeah. you figure it out. Yeah, I wonder how many Jesuses they are. Um, less or I, yeah, oh I yeah, way less. way way less. But yeah. you got to remember, more people speak Spanish than English. English, yeah. yeah, English is fourth on the list of most spoken languages. Spanish is third. First language. First language. The most period. The most spoken languages on the really? planet. I read no a thing way. that showed me English was fourth. Really? There are fucking not a lot of fucking... Well, you have no idea what planet you're on, do you? Have you ever yeah. looked at a fucking map? Why would you think South America is down there is speaking a, English? This is a problem. See? Africa. Because English... Asia. Is, everybody around the world is going to have to learn English. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> America, America is here to stay. If, We're the greatest empire oh, here the world we go. has ever seen. Yeah, that... <laughs> It. You'll learn English. You'll quit this nonsense of metrics, and you'll go to measure. <laughs> foot. Okay. By God, we will put our foot down oh. with jack boots on on the back of your neck. Mm -hmm. We're coming for you, baby. Okay. Are you scared? No. Should I be? Scared of no. what? What? What are you gonna do? Jack boots, baby. Huh? 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 Oh, uh, I've been threatened with that my whole life. Fuck. A few times that it happened, I was already under arrest anyway, so it didn't matter. Mary's back. Because you do you do know what under arrest is, don't you? Oh. That's the fucking second they've engaged you after you talk to them. You're being detained against your fucking will. And if you're willing, you're an idiot. So, there you go. Well, I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people with all this advice, like on YouTube. I didn't give any advice. No, 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 no. I was not saying you did. Give an opinion. No, no. I'm, I'm telling you that there is people out there. You're making me smoke, sir. You're making me smoke. They, they will get you in trouble. True. Possibly true. If all I have ever said. Well, okay. Well, that depends on the cop. But you got to remember, too, that we're on the Internet, right? And links and crap like that. So the people that kind of sway our way to listen to what we've got to say about this kind of thing, pretty much, they're not idiots in the first place. So they're not likely to have to deal with police on a regular basis, no matter what we say. But according to what I've read and stuff I've seen, I would say there is a way to deal with them. And it's non-combative. And the only thing I've seen that works is if you tell them that you don't answer questions. And I can't, uh, I haven't bothered to look it back up since I saw it the first time. But I brought it up on, I think, to Mary. Do you or, know what you're supposed you? to be doing is setting the record. Always have a recording device with you. Wow. And you ask them the question. Wow. See, there you go. There is a protocol and a way to deal with it. That's what I'm talking about. I just don't know yeah. what it is. And I don't you live there to, no more. You have so. to remember to be safe. In how you do it too, mm -hmm. and also that includes attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't do any good to go in there talking smack to them. Mm -hmm. Just say, uh, "I'm giving you the courtesy to know that you're under a first amendment <laughs> audit at present. Yeah, that this is being recorded mm -hmm. for review. Isn't that kind of a fucked up way to live free? Yeah, that you have to protect yourself from the cops because you, know, you might end up in prison for something you didn't do." But there's a law that proves that you did it because, well, they wrote it that way. 
So you would be guilty no matter what you did. They saw you do it, and there you go. Bye-bye, off to jail you go. <clears throat> Think about it. You got a bunch of reckless fucking killers running around, armed to the nipples, killing people and arresting them. Wow, that's, that's not history. looking very good over here. It's all you. Yeah, because I don't get treated that way here. I haven't been hassled by the police in 20 years, though. So, I don't know. I think it's all a matter of, well, you get what you want in life, whether you really know what you want or not. If you think what, if your life isn't what you want it to be where you're at at the moment, you're the one that's there. So, it's not a choice for other people to make. You know, and oh, my life sucks, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's you, not me. Mine, mine's good. How's yours been? It's okay. It's okay. Now, not to say that there haven't been you know, sorry times and shitty, shitty things that happen. It's just how much of the time do I have left do I want to spend carrying around all that shit that I don't want to deal with? <laughs> you know? Leave that for some other time. You know, like this uh, show tonight. We've had a little bit of backbiting at people in the chat room over personality conflicts and such, you know, presentation, all that aesthetic crap. But I think when you get to the core of a person, <laughs> that's that yeah, can work either way. You come out hating them or loving them one way or the other. But I think it's an individual thing. One person will see it this way, other the other way. So, hmm. who is right and who is wrong doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> See? That's why Grimm doesn't ban people and throw them out for being boisterous butt nuggets. I've been a boisterous butt nugget in the chat room many, many times. Have you, Vincent? <laughs> I don't think uh, anybody should ever be censored as far as, like, words that reflect ideas, information. Well, now, I, I understand all there, that. There's a I agree point that. where you come in that... That uh, yeah. it is so full of bile yeah. that it's uh, being not acceptable. Ah, oh, boo! See, there you go, drawing your your way in a scale, being a judge. I am. It's I either am a all, judge. Nah, see, nah. Fuck no, me. That's, I'm a judge and I'm righteous, so therefore I'm an anarchist I and I, I, I defer to, to myself. Okay, and I don't want to live under your judgments. That's the whole too point. Bad, of, too bad. If you're associated <laughs> with me, you do. How so? You have to accept it. If not, you'd have to just quit and go on. Leave me alone. And like if that's what I do. Over words? Sure. Oh, okay. I can. No, I'm not. Words. I'm not weighing this down on this particular uh, segment of conversation that we're having. No, no, no. I'm saying that because I am who I am, yeah. and we're friends, yeah. and you de- have a de facto agreement of a, a non-written contract between you. and Myself, yeah, basically. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, you know who I, I am. You know yeah. I am. Yeah. You know what I do. Yeah, I'm me. And there's only so much time in the day, and I don't want to <clears> carry around a bunch of old shit I'm mad at Vinny about, so I don't have it. Yeah. When I get yeah. mad at you, I go, "Hey, Vinny, I'm mad at you about this fucker." Blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Shut up. And but you're probably Did that make you mad, buddy. <laughs> well, actually, no. It m- reminds me I'm alive because it takes a really lot to get me mad. You can do it. Cirque can do it. Of course, Cirque can do it. You can do it. But not too many. Me and Mary have never, in all the years of this, have never had a a disagreement that didn't end in us laughing about disagreeing about something. Because it's so pointless at the end of the, you know, the things that we discuss on the radio, some of them are huge and life-threatening and this and that, but it's just talk. You know, it's not worth being angry about disagreeing with somebody so that was a good lesson to uh go through i suppose because american women and me fighting mutually does not end well they do not like my side of shit and i found mary to fight with and she's pretty fair i think fair mary Mm -hmm. that would make a good song yeah well she still likes to do the radio with us you know, she's just busy with her farming life and shit's going on. And I'm like, hey, good. Enjoy shit. Whatever enjoying something is to you, 
That's what you should do. Like, Cirque loves the garden. So every <laughs> spring, I got to get out there and do a few, you know, things that she can't handle doing and set them up. And help her with a little maintenance. And she gets vegetables out of the garden. It's really cool. That's so nice. Hmm? I still got some maters that are, are green on the vine, but. Oh, there yeah. You know, probably not going to go. And the flowers kick back. And then I got some growing out in the grass. They they still got green tomatoes. So I only got one wrapper on them. Well, she had a few pepper plants out there. And three of them. I grabbed three of them just at the end of the uh, whatever time she had them out there for. And I put them in potted plants. And then there I put them is. in the window. I guess. And I put them in the windowsill almost. And uh, started to take daily care and pay attention to them and they're they're spreading new new leaves in october in a windowsill yeah you so i went wow i well, could cover it over make a little greenhouse with some plastic well it gets a little chilly here about december january february down into the zero area but the plants always come back after the, the freeze but i never put anything like this in the window before it's new i'm Experiment like Grimner only inside. Yeah. Yeah. Inside the house, I do the I grew sills. tire gardens this year. I've way overcrowded them, but no. uh, <clears throat> then my friends grew some uh, different peppers. Man, I got some uh, Trinidadian scorpion peppers, chilies. I'm sorry, Jose, Chile. That are so hot. They're like the second hottest chili in the world. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I hope you don't eat one while we're live. I might run uh, out of, I might run out of ideas. I would have probably run out one by itself. I put a half one. I made a batch of uh, I'll, I'll call it pico de gallo, mm -hmm. onion, garlic, uh, ginger, cilantro, oh. uh, some lime juice, and these uh, well some jalapeno <laughs> and bell pepper, homegrown, all of them. And then ah, uh, uh, half a half a Trinidad. Hey, rituals uh, came in to see us, but rituals had to split. Was even nice and said, sorry for leaving the live session. Well, we weren't. We were just having a little giggle and arguing about <coughs> who owns the color blue tonight on In a Perfect World. Because, you know, well, what's our biggest difference? Our biggest difference is your quest, your quest for the freedom of speech. And my reality says it doesn't matter if you've got freedom of speech or not. Most people are just repeating bullshit any fucking way, so hmm. have fun. I think it's now, an illusion. If, well, look, if we had a troll show up here decided to take up residence at the Real Liberty Media hmm. uh, chat room mm -hmm. and talked about what, maybe, and, you know, putting it on like you're serious, say he had intercourse with the chicken that, mm -hmm. that you proposed that a man marry a chicken. Well, if he got very graphic about the description of this, then mm. I would say there would be a point and censor there to say, oh. shut up or or get gone. No, that's but good. If somebody came in and says, I very much love my chicken, and I would love to have wedded blessed with my chicken, and uh, the law says I can't, and I think I are too. Well, I mean, I would accept that as a free expression of speech, idea, information, right? But if you start about talking about how he frees chick kissed a chicken butt and, and beyond that point, I would say that's gone too far. Yeah. Okay. And, no, I had a little. I'm sorry. I had. I thought I knew, and then I unmuted before I was done. Had a little word with the wife. Oh, uh, hi, Circle. I know she's busy. She's got to. Uh, I think she's got to go to work in tomorrow or something. Either, the, yeah, it's either a doctor appointment or the work, one or the other. But, no, I'm not calling you a troll. But she's been home for a little while. Anyway. Oh, what are you calling? You want to straighten all that out? You want to? Yeah. Okay. For you, I'm sure you know what you said. I don't yeah. word for word know what you said. Oh, no. Josh Gorda, I'm not calling you a troll. I just think you're not. Uh, uh, you you leave off at logic and you fail to go to the rhetoric, okay? That's a very important. You need, first of all, you need your grammar proper. But I'm going to back up and I'm going to give you some examples uh, of your words here. If I can scroll back to find them. Uh, there it is. 
you say, but there's a, there's a qualifying word. Give, uh, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. This is on 9-11. No matter what happened on 9-11, it was a conspiracy. Just, just put up. Uh, uh, and then you say with a big butt, uh, saying the, the government, the U.S. government pulled this off. Seems laughable. See these set-up words that, that uh, disqualify anybody else's reasonable thinking uh, in, in the presentation of these ideas with all of the proper grammar, the logic, and how. Not just beyond, beyond why, but how, 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 how. How is all this done? It's demonstrable. It's not confined to ideological ideas that float about in your psyche, in beliefs. Some things will not add up no matter how you rearrange the numbers. No matter how time, many times you pluck this out and drop it over here, <clears throat> using your uh, logical fallacies here, eh? you're trying to demonstrate that anybody's ideas, notions, and thinking to this or that beyond what you're proposing is uh, stupid. Now, that's just not the case. You've left off. Sock, if you're if you're listening, yeah, I've had a couple of wake up not very good boots. I just have a couple of shit to sling about. So yeah, maybe I well I probably did went too far in your demonstration of uh, the word definition and who it is and what's peacock. So, uh, anyways, <clears throat> saying it seems laughable is not the same as say, saying it must be false. You know, if if you've not as as much as you are into uh, looking at information and bringing it back, you have not paid the least amount. You've not looked at the least about it information presented to you on a number of different ideas, including the 9/11. Um, there are some things that is are not explained away, sir. Welcome back, Flash. Oh yeah, thanks. I, I just want to go talk to Sir for a minute. Appreciate that, Vincent. But yeah. I thought you might want to straighten that out, whatever it was. I'll listen to it on the playback. That'll be fun. I like well, being surprised. Yeah. But yeah, see, sometimes I get a little bit obsessed with ideas. Okay, but you've got a real. You've got to get a grip on. There are people who are not wired to understand the logic that you understand, the reasoning, the way you get to your answers. They use a different road. So they're yeah. not capable of coming to the conclusion you come to based on the information you get because they don't understand the fucking shit you're talking about. It's sad. And it sounds kind of pompous, but, I mean, there's people that do not understand. Buildings do not, still does not burn like that and collapse. And no, fall no, down. No, 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 not free fall speed, no. That's, a, no. that's demolition work. They yeah. watched it live on fucking TV for 18 years and they're still quoting that's, the government. Give me a the, break. The collapse of the building is evidence in itself. Yeah, watching the thing itself, fall. It without was, anything else, without all the mm -hmm. other information available. Mm -hmm. Let alone three times in one day. It's never happened yeah. since. It never happened before that. So what are you talking about? They had a plane fly into the Empire State Building in like 1945. Did in a few floors. They, and that was it. Had a fire. They put it out. Took it all out, rebuilt it. Uh, even if it did burn the whole building, no, it would. Which there, no, no one. Even if there were, if, were, if it were to burn mm -hmm. in, in its entirety, let alone all the fire prevention, um, please, uh, design built into it. Yeah, you would still have um, a big old standing structure, a skeleton of steel. Not to and mention that no plane ever hit that fucking. Neither any of three of the buildings, not one of them, not for, or the Pentagon. No, people are just insane if they believe all this crap. It's not possible. Well, it doesn't work that way. And then of were, all the things, were flying, that, there were flying things that hit those buildings. Yeah, flying now, whether things. Whether they were they substituted yeah. out for uh, uh, another plane, mm. it's camouflaged even to uh, look like the. Uh, I forget the flight numbers there in the. Not to seven, mention, seven, uh, they were bigger at seven forty seven. Doesn't matter. Look at what it took to. It had to be blown up from the inside out, yeah, from the bottom right, up. 
exactly. you can see the evidence of it. From, if you look at the yeah. damn film, it's obvious. Yeah. Unless you're completely, see, I mean, unless you're completely wired to accept government as like a Bible or something. And who knows what these people have done with TV and movies and music over the years to right. to dig into the younger minds because it, we're immune to it somehow. There's not a lot of us, but at least we're around. You know? Not everybody is a blithering status that wants you know Nixon and Carter and Trump to fix everything. Some people understand that the shit that these people do, it always fucks us. Always, every damn time. So instead of getting rid of it, they just, they, what do they do? They got the same Congress for 40 fucking years. Nothing. Just progressively gone to shit since I was old enough to even participate in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, can you give me a couple of minutes? I'll be back. Absolutely. Right. Anyway, we're, we're in, a, in a perfect world tonight at the reallibertymedia.com. Vinny and Chaskira were having a few words on the chat room, I suppose, over the last uh, couple of weeks. I've noticed that. But I'm not reasonable like Vinny, and I don't really. Some people, you know, I just figure it like this. If you really want to work that hard at being a rude, you know, nasty person, I already got hands for that. I don't need it. So I'll just block you, whoever you are. If that's the way that, you know, my mind interprets how we interact, I don't have time for it. So I just get rid of it. And I keep old Mr. Hansel around, slap around when I'm feeling kind of randy and wordy and shit. You know, when I feel like fucking with somebody that's not real. But, uh, hmm, you know, to recognize other people's humanity, so to speak, on an internet site, when you're so easily... Brought to anger with a few words. Now, nah, people, they know what they're doing. I don't think this happens by accident. You go into a room and you start yelling, Hey, who stepped in dog shit? Everybody in the room is going to turn around and look at you. If you walk in the room and say, Hey, hello, everybody. They're probably all still going to turn around and look at you, but they're not going to want you to go away. <laughs> um Hey, Vincenzo's hey. back. I was just giving him my uh, dog shit analogy. Boop, boop. Yeah, when you walk into you know a, a crowded I... room with dog shit, and you go, hey, I'm stepped in dog shit. Never mind. You know, you've oh. got to demonstrate whether it should be wiped on or wiped it off, okay? I do. I don't have to. To determine whether it is Shinola. No. Or in fact, dog no. shit. What are you the uh, express written consent of uh, in a perfect world? <laughs> yes. Well, then Absolutely. do it yourself. I don't feel like doing your bidding there, sport. Now, what you going to do? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because I live the Jewish way. I tell you, I'm going to do it, but I hardly ever do it. But I promise I'll do it. But I usually forget and never get around to doing it. Wonder how that works. Let let me ask you a, a hypothetical. Yeah. If I might. What, what, so what? let's say hmm. that it was Saudi Arabians that were behind the conspiracy to bring the buildings down. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to do that, they would have had tell them, Hannah, yeah. they would have had access to the building to plant the explosives throughout and in the basement. Right. They'd have to right. have done that. But hmm. who was in the head of the uh, security company? Who are Israel. Mr. Bush. Israel, well, Bush, just Jeb, like Trump. Jeb or the other brother? No, okay. it's the other brother. What's it? Yeah. Jeb Bush. No, he was a governor or something. Well, I think there's yeah, another one of, somewhere. But, uh, yeah, it's the other brother. But they're all owned by the same people, so whatever. Right. Trump, yeah. Bush, Clinton, Nixon, all, all, of, all of it. Johnson, uh, Kennedy. They Well, maybe not Kennedy. That's probably why they got rid of us. But he was still, I mean, he had his presidential shitty side to him and he wasn't a very nice guy so eh, i'm not really a big fan of any of these people you know wait don't start getting all danish on me while i'm doing radio <laughs> my wife over there giving me a classic history lesson good good for her but can you think of 
in your lifetime, can you think of a president that did anything ever that didn't fuck somebody else up in the end? Or didn't end his administration in some form of disgrace? Mm. (laughs) There you go. Well, Reagan. But Reagan was a piece of garbage, if you think about it. He's the one that gobbled up the education system and made this crap that that we're calling education today. This was Reagan. And this woman made a bunch of videos. What's her name? Eisbert? Anyway, if you look it up, it's called uh, Dumbing Down America, Dumbing Down the World, whatever. And uh, she was right in there bashing him in the old days. So, hmm. What he was s- never president. First of all, uh, George the First was president for uh, how many years? Let's see, twenty years. Uh, George, right? who? Eight? What? George? George W. Yeah, Herbert Walker Bush. Four. Yeah, he was eight years no, president four. when Reagan. No, when Reagan was president, he was really no. they fought. Do a good no. Do do an internet Listen, thing. Hold on, you're hold doing on, it wrong. Listen, hold on, hold on. Listen, so. When Reagan was president, in title, George Herbert Walker book was man behind there. He was presented as this wimpy guy. Oh, he was then the vice so, president. He, yeah, but he was really president. And then he was president for four years as president. And then eight more years when uh, George W. Bush was president. Okay. So that's and this 20. is your assessment, right? That's 20 years of George Bush, right? George Herbert Walker Bush. That's the man, your assessment. The real power. Right. The people Look, behind him are the real power. He's just a front man for a really bad Ron, band. Yeah, Ronnie Reagan, mm-hmm. he was the front man. Yeah, he was like, you know, out there doing the air guitar and the, uh, <laughs> uh, what, what you call it when they sing. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, they're not really singing it, you know? They're yeah. called lip syncing. Yeah, lip syncing. <laughs> yeah, air guitar. And yeah, uh, <laughs> who's back there plugging the wires in? George oh. Herbert Walker Bush. Okay. Would you agree? I mean, so I, Reagan is like, uh, mommy. It's win win for the Gipper. Well, see, it's all a matter of interpretation. Okay. And I can't disagree with you because my agreeing with you is there's always somebody behind the people you're looking at. Right. And, and the way to understand that in simpler terms is, right, you got a normal guy. And he plays the guitar for a living. And he's got to do a show in, in Berlin. And he's got to do a show in London. And then they're going to take him to the States. Well, while he's doing all this traveling and guitar playing, who's doing all his thinking? Yeah. So they get these politicians up here. These old geezers, 70 fucking years old, like Trump. And he's flying all the fucking around the world like a, like a 40-year-old. Grabbing him right by the by the pussy, baby. That's right. Oh, that's Come how on. you do it. Is, is that is it really? How well, that's how they do it. I hope you have. They, uh, I hope you stay out of trouble. I didn't say me. I said that's how. You, well, who's they? they? Who does? They, who follows an idiot it? like ones that, that are eating babies and stuff? Who who is sick? Yeah, you know Charlotte Eiserman. I mean? Listen. Yeah, thank the you. The Clintons man. and the Bushes yeah. were good. Friends and business partners. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to post that in our show tonight. In deliberate Dim and Dan. Donna found it. I'm sorry. Dam Van Meter found it. Dum, yeah. da, dum, dum. The names have dam, been changed to protect da, dam, the dam. Dam. We will aim short. Thank you, Donna. But our sights are crooked. Gonna, you might get shot. I'm going to... I'm gonna open it and mm. stop it so I got it so I can check 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 it. Uh oh, wait a minute! I need to open that. What have I done? Oh, I opened Donna, the wrong your, link. Your I link know. did not open for me. That oh, Hannibal, yeah. Hannibal, Hannibal. See, Hannah is upset about this as well. Yeah. So, mm. Please, I, I didn't check to see if you. Oh, so, I got are are you presidential material, Vincent? You're old enough for the job. Do you think you could do it? No. Why not? Don't you because know how to? Of, don't you know how to kiss a wall? Had, huh? Even huh? if I had the money backing behind me, I wouldn't submit and bow down to the evil system. It would have to be. Oh, sure you would. 
You're only Damn. saying that because you don't have the money. Or whatever th- hey. or whatever threats possibly come along with that kind of lifestyle. I, I think I'm going to buy a car. It would be like being a gerbil in a glass to me. It would be weird. I quit driving a long time ago. Oh, by the way, oh. regarding that, oh. I saw I saw my friend and um <laughs> It's been a while. Yeah, I, she's the one I gave my car to. Oh, you're yeah. such a nice guy. So, yes, I hadn't seen her in a long time. And I yeah. Her. Well, that's me. Uh, I remember that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Sometimes it's just nice to be nice. Don't know why. Everything doesn't have a price tag in life to me. So, well, yeah. I wasn't going to submit to this city of Damascus and their demands for uh, money. Mm-hmm. And so I said, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Mm-hmm. I just won't drive. You can keep it. I'm not paying you mm-hmm. 150 And then they wanted 250 And then they wanted mm-hmm. 800 and something. And then they wanted like 3000 or something. And I was like, you think I'll pay you more? Mm-hmm. Crazy. No. no. And then I made a venture out of it. Went to jail for 30 days after like three years. Finally, <laughs> the judge was like, no, we're not going to arrest him. He will pay. <laughs> I love, I love yeah. You will not make me pay. No, nah, they'll take it out of your skin. You'll give it to him. No. Jailbird. I went, I went and made him house and feed me. I made a big stink. The That's whole time right. Because, hey, man, that's... You know, the, the guards were calling me warden. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can imagine, Benny. I, I do radio with you on a regular basis, so, yeah, Whoa. it's not much of a surprise. Let me tell you that. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to start Uh-oh. that. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. No, my computer got away from me, but I managed to regain control. <laughs> E.T., phone your lawyer. Yeah, you know, and I've gone on about that already. So. Hmm. People that believe in, in extraterrestrials <laughs> just cracks me up. The crap that other people oh, believe. God. Wait, the crap that other people believe that I don't believe. And then you compare that to the crap that I do believe that they don't believe. The difference is I can prove what I believe. You can't. If I doubt you, it's because you yet to show me any proof. And as I have said before on the show, proof is the story I like the most. So there you go. There's your proof. You know, I was thinking of the word proof. Uh, I think it was yesterday, and uh, I didn't go to uh, finish it up. But the di- the difference of proof, right? And then also proofing something like you proofread. So there's proof, and then there is to proof, right? Do you see where I'm going with that? No. Really? Well, well I don't. Am I supposed to? Okay. Well, yeah. Right. Are you using two different yeah. words? Yeah. By the way, well, that's I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna uh, type them. I'm gonna charge. Prove, them. proof. I have all these tenses. That's the whole fucking point. Man. You're you're t- telling me stories. I'm supposed to just believe it because you have some magic chant that you say in a certain oh. order, and it means this, that, and the other. It means it to you, not to me. I was not indoctrinated with your chance. Several definitions my own. of the noun. Yeah. It is evidence or argument. Hey, I was having or... fun with my rant. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll interrupt you. That's okay. Don't worry. I know. I'm back. Uh, <laughs> it is evidence or argument <laughs> establishing or helping to establish yeah. a fact yeah. or the truth uh, of a statement. Uh, uh, yeah. You will, uh, you will be asked to give proof. Of your identity. It doesn't matter if the person listening doesn't like the tone of your voice. You, sir, are lying. That's how this game works, pal. People well, believe what they what pleases them to believe. They usually, nine out of ten of us, will take the easy way out and not face the truth about something tragic. <laughs> All I can give you, what? sir, is two nouns, two adje- adjectives, and two verbs. Mm-hmm. And then take it from there. Well, I don't know, but uh, it looks like the gun of Ben Beter is going, hey, you know, I'm a facts over faith sort of gal. I would say she's going the direction we're going in, senor. What do you think? 
I think that uh, faith without works is dead, sir. Well, then there is no faith until you do so, and then there's no such thing as faith. That's a bunch of crap. It sounds like it, but... Uh, oh, think, you agreed you, with me. You, I, ding, no, ding, 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 actually, ding. actually, actually uh, uh, I kind of didn't. Yeah, I know, uh, but then I caught you. Well, okay, well, because it, it depends on the way you look at it when it's said, too, because it's both true and not true at the same time. Schrodinger's cat. Did you ever listen to Carl G. Dong, dong, dong? I have no I, he's idea. He's hard to listen. No. He's really hard to listen to. He's an old man. He's probably dead mm. gone or I don't know, but I see a link about it. I ain't opening any freaking links while I'm radioing. Are you crazy? I might cut us off the air and stuff. I don't want to play. No. But you know what? My Still, my definition of proof to this minute in my life will be on the record as the story I like best is proof to me. That's how I see it. Whatever makes me feel, aha! Then I go with that. And there's just some things that everybody else wants to go along with, like 9 11. And I'm no. And then there's other things that people want to go along with, Galileo. And I go, I go like, wait a minute. Okay, wait, wait, wait. See, so I go back to the roots of this whole argument and their religious arguments about the flatness or the roundness of the fucking globe. And I came to the decision that. It doesn't matter what side of the argument that you choose. It just matters that you choose a side. <laughs> so, I'm not so much with the round one. I like the other argument a little bit more. It's more fun to me. But the stories about Earth and we're spinning through space and traveling around this thing and blah, 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 blah then we, ourselves, <clears throat> we're just a bunch of energy Spinning around in space, going, what? Okay, so it's got the illusion of stationary. Well, I'm going to go with, maybe that's the part of illusion I can live with. That my world is just stable and, you know, it, maybe it's 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 a, the way that I think that leads me down that. I'm walking down the road, I'm an easygoing guy kind of thing instead of, I'm on this spinning monster going through space at a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> Get, fuck you. I'm done with all that crap. I don't have enough time left to live to be bothered with whether or not that is true. It doesn't have any value to me. Zero. I have something to talk about to start an argument, but it's zero value. Well, mm. I have uh, more Trinidadian, uh, Trinidad, Trinidad, Scorpion, Chili's. Mmm. Yum, yum. Those. Oh, man. They're, like, super hot. <laughs> I like them, though. Oh. It's one guy, it's one guy, a friend of mine, he ate one out, and he's all like, I don't know, Grimner, <laughs> po- <laughs> Grimner posted, do you think it's air you're breathing now by farting Morpheus? I thought it was worth an interrupt for that, your majesty. Yeah. How do you like it? How do you like it when it's you, huh? <laughs> I like it. I oh, like cool. it. You're welcome. That dude hit the ground, man. He was like, I gotta go. Okay, but Vinny, I went on and on about my version of what I assume proof is. Do you have... Well, well, see, that's what I mean. Everything is subjective to each person. And we don't have to agree in every freaking detail. Sometimes the difference (laughs) is what's interesting about people. Can I give you a good example on that? I'll extract it from the chat and dog parts. Listen, if you are in a house with a friend and you smell a fart, and you didn't do it, mm. and your buddy said it was the dog, mm. there's no way to prove that. Mm. Right? Well, you cannot prove that there is a dog that that, 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 that is a dog fart. There's well, no way. I, I live with Circle, and we don't really seem to have that problem here in the house yet. And she admits it then when she cuts one loose. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's not what you meant? Well, I mean, she's sitting halfway across the room from me right now. i got headphones on, so I wouldn't know. And but... you smell a fart? Oh, no. Oh, well, then it wasn't the dog, and it wasn't Circle. It oh, be, you know, oh you're not, you, I that's, get it. You're, you're, you're picking on me again, aren't you? 
a little bit. Wow. <laughs> did you, did you, you have fun? I, yeah. What? 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 Don't don't mess with me, man. I'm volatile. I could call <laughs> you names at any given time, sir. Names of the third caliber. Names. Names. What? What would I call you? Peacock boy. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that you haven't been called that I could think of. I, really, it's all been done. And like me, I mean, come on. How much new shit do you think you can say that I haven't heard somewhere before? It's all been done. It's just the order you do it in that's different. That's a good thing. Did you know we're all using the same words? Oops. And different, like sometimes. Well, interpretation. Oh. See, that's why I fall back on my crap about, you know, I might be right, I might be wrong, but you know what, I don't think anybody gives a shit whether I'm right or wrong. I think they care if they're right or wrong. That's what matters to anyone. And to live through life where you don't feel you're doing any harm, you know, that's because you're bound to do harm when you don't really even know it, because people are... That, you know, my thing about friction, two things occupying. And you don't even know you're doing it sometimes. Like uh, you and this Chaskira character that don't get along. You're oh, we to... get along fine. Actually. Oh, yeah. We, I we saw did that. get along very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we have a certain amount of uh, mm-hmm. sensibility that okay. the, the line that I think that uh, perhaps <laughs> it may be questioned of being crossed. That, uh, yeah, I just don't. <laughs> care to repeat myself so many times. Yeah, it but you never know. Obvious. Well, yeah, but you never know who so, you might not know that. Because that's why you go on about the Bundys and shit. Because you never know who might not know. Right. You never right. know who might know and might have not thought twice about it until that one particular time you brought it up the 11 millionth time. And all of a right. sudden, they, they hear the whole fucking thing differently. And well, I, I, I say that because certain ideas that were introduced to me, took some time to get them out of my head, like the driver's license. It took me till I was, good God, 28, before I finally fucking went, no, I'm not, because I was afraid of responsibility. <coughs> now, here's what really convinced me of it to myself. I thought, wait a minute. I don't want to be responsible for something that's not even freaking real. Then I went, oh, okay, I get it now. See, so, yeah, I was so conditioned but- into the permission to do what has no control. If it had control, I would have been stopped a lot more than I was. There's no control to anything. It's just uh, participating in, in this fiction. Now, I guess I took it to an extreme. You know, like you took yours to an extreme. Some people don't go. And I took mine in another direction where most people don't go. Ended up where I'm at you know, now. Yeah. Well, anyway. I, maybe with an example then would be, I, I won't give the details, but I, some people, when I said, talking to somebody else, that I was a witness in a federal trial, mm-hmm. that you could see the heads turned with the, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. <it's laughs> some heavy shit. You, you've done quite a bit. But still, back to proof. Okay, we're coming up to the end of the show. I'm going to be uh, giving you the end of it. So you can end it however you like. But my question to you is, if you've got one simple, easy way to explain how your mind interprets something that you consider to be proof. And I came up with, that's the story I like the best. What do you got? I would say that... Uh... With all the information out there, it's very easy to be con- uh, uh, confused and deceived. What we're really looking for is not what happened, but why it happened and what is the result. And then we understand how this process of these people, of who, what, where, and when, uh, why they did this, and how they done it. So how it comes about to being in this world, how it exists, and how we're under an occupation. You know, how it talks about... Uh, the occupying for- force that we live under. And a lot of people don't understand it. They see certain things as a necessity or the necessary evils. The the devil you know, if you will. Um, right is right and wrong is wrong. 
there's uh, perhaps some uh, disillusioned discussion on certain subjects that uh, is obvious wrong. Uh, killing, sometimes, you know, things die and some things have to be killed, but uh, if there comes a point of uh, um, wrongful death, should I call it? But anyways, along the line there, there's not a, a line that you step over or cross. It's a direction. There is this absolute right. And some things are so ob obvious and others are um, not so obvious. So should we eat the babies? It is a modest proposal. Take, uh, take your choice. Of course, looking at the link in the notes will help the person listening, right? If they yes. see the okay. Because there's more to this than just repeating some crazy uh, slogan. Sorry, Benny. Whoops. No, no, you're perfect. All right. I had your coffee moment. Well, I was trying to let you close up the show, and then I go interrupting you again. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was this. That's a two-part close. Okay. Uh, right. Then you you made that, and so we gave it to that. That yeah, save the planet, eat the babies. AOC trolled over climate change panic by pro-Trump. Prankster. I reworded uh, it for the uh, the twit that I posted. Um, so, hmm. well, he was talking about the bunnies, and what I do, it's uh, a look, it's a, a ponder gander at what matters. It's a radio writing series that I'm doing here uh, at Real Liberty Media. This is where I leave you my work at. Uh, it is to think and reason, uh, raising expectations through thought provoking episodes. As I typed here, standing in the gap, connecting voices, considering perspectives, broadcasting what matters worldwide. Radio reading sounds great, less filling, right here at reallibertymedia.com forward slash author forward slash vine. That's where I was talking about being leading as the ponder gander. And if you're listening to this or that on YouTube, tell them to get bit, get the bit shoot, baby. That's right, bitshoot.com. Um, you can find us as Real Liberty Media on BitChute and also YouTube Real Liberty Media. Yeah, do me a favor. Change where you're listening. Come to the uh, radio log, the podcast broadcast link. Uh, you can find us. Uh, hey, and Real Liberty Media Network went down, but I guess uh, still on Twitter. Uh, Real Liberty Media or Real Liberty dot org, Real Liberty Media dot com. And uh, you find uh, Ben E R L M Radio on Twitter, R L M Radio, Barman R L M, Ponder Gander Freedoms Network, and Behind a Woodshed. What I've been doing uh, for some time is being a witness, a judge, and an advocate for what happened in Nevada 2014, the Bundy Ranch standoff, it's called, the Battle of Bunkerville, the trial, also in 2017-28 being dismissed with prejudice by Judge Gloria Navarro. Comparing history to the events of today for an expectation of the future for our world and mankind as a whole. In this notice I give under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. The Bundy Ranch, USA versus Bundy et al., United States versus Bundy, case number 216CR 00046-GMN-PAL, uh, parentheses D, dot Nevada, uh, December 30, 2016. It's a Bundy Ranch standoff and trial report by me, Vince Neasley II. As I said, as the Battle of Bunch Bunkerville was, the standoff in the spring of 2014, headed by the U.S. Department of Interior's uh, BLM Bureau of Land Management along the Virgin River in southern Nevada. On the other side were several hundred Americans standing in the gap in a peaceful pushback as both a protective buffer for the Bundy family, uh, family and to protect uh, to protest the government's roundup and attempted confiscation of several hundred head of Bundy cattle. Uh, it goes on with history, current events, live stream, video, and radio broadcast. I reported from the ranch in 2014 and in 2017-18 at the federal trial in Las Vegas, continuing the coverage as a witness. 
for the defense. Number 303 uh, did not go to test the file because it was dismissed. If you'll see more, go to uh, my blog page. It's uh, Radio Log. I like to call it Thank You Circle, R Log. Yeah, we chose meanings. I'll stop it right there. There's more. Continue. Well, then let's call that a show there, Wilbur. And thanks okay. a lot. Hey, you doing Dork Table Saturday? We might. Maybe not. Well, maybe. maybe. Okay. If you do, we may have a Mary. I never do okay. Dork Table. I ah, can't do it alone. It's against my rules. Uh-huh. Well, well, anyway, listen, thanks a lot, before everybody. You, wait, before you close, wait. Yeah. Did you close yet? Wait. No, why? The, why? The schedule. Okay, good, 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 good. But, listen, yeah. uh, Sundays right here, we uh, play trivia and listen to some blues with Grimner. And I won't be here next Sunday. Uh, Miss Pearl's home from the hospital, and the family will be coming. So my day will be spent up there mostly. Uh, not sure about Saturday, but that's the dork table. I, uh, mm. uh, Fridays, mm. we've got the Freakers Ball, mm. y'all, and I'm me at, uh, with the Ponder Gander. And the night before that on Thursdays is the Pooster and Friends Power Hour. Uh, Wednesday, we have open with Miss Mary uh, Don, uh, what would I say, Don Contrary. Nah, she's not Contrary. She had other things to do. But she does join us, as you said. Yeah, she got called. Baby. Yeah, she had, they needed some help with something. And she had to go. Mondays is Grim Leftovers, and Tuesday hey, is uh, In a Perfect World. So check the schedule. Come on along. Uh, Eileen. And, mm. yeah, and don't back. forget, if you're feeling generous, send Grim some dope. Yeah. Help some run the shit that we're doing here. Thank and you. For listeners. Hey, just a little bit. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Les.